Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is about flattery and you might need to sweet talk your way out of the situation uh, in order for you to uh, get ahead. So make sure that you've got your ears open uh, and you're listening to everything that comes your way and also there's a, there's a big need for you to actually speak to people to get some input or some information um, and you need to use both of that, be alert um, and, uh, you know, get your information that way. And you might need to, you know, use um, uh, flattery to actually get you uh, through the situation. And of course, you can do this, Leo. You're pretty good at that, usually. Uh, so uh, the card above it is defense. So uh, this is about, um, you know, uh, facing some kind of problem, some kind of battle, uh, and it might be to do with money because you've got uh, Mars there in Taurus, and Taurus is about maybe uh, you know personal issues that you are facing in in the form of money or your personal security. But you definitely have to defend yourself, uh, be on the defensive as to what is going on. Uh, so you know uh, maybe not actually going into battle, but showing people that you know they shouldn't mess with you really. Uh, you've got the card of ostentation, so hard work is going to be paying off. You are feeling a bit restricted as far as your finances goes because you've got Saturn there in Taurus. Saturn is the planet of restriction. Taurus rules personal finances, and it looks like they might you might be feeling as though you know there are some uh, limitations as to how much you can spend and how you you are uh, you know um, how much money you're getting in as well. So uh, there is some kind of financial restriction going on over there. Now in the past you've got criticism. Uh, so maybe somebody has been trying to tell you what to do and be very critical of whatever you've been doing. You've got Mars there in uh, Virgo, and this is, you know, the sign of being critical. And, you know, they're being very harsh in their criticism as well. Maybe pointing fingers. Maybe you've been doing something different and they don't like it, so they've been very, very critical. So this is about trying uh, Jupiter in uh, um, Capricorn over there. So they're trying to control you. They're trying to restrict you. They're trying to limit you here. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Saturn is the planet of restriction. Jupiter loves its freedom. It likes to expand. So somebody is preventing you from actually, uh, you know, being all you can because they're putting down little barriers or little obstacles and they're trying, to, you know, maybe their criticism in itself is causing that restriction or, uh, you know, maybe that's how they're trying to control you by criticizing what you're doing and uh, attacking your self-confidence. Now, going into the future, you've got the adaptability card over there. So uh, there's a need for you to look at all options, to change the way you're approaching things, do things uh, differently. And this may be also, you know, changing uh, your methods of practice according to how, um, what is going on, whatever the circumstances is. There's also that need to communicate your ideas. There could be a lot of local travel that you could be doing as well because you've got the moon in Gemini. So you might be making some short local trips and doing a lot of it as well. Uh, you've got the protection cards there, so this is about you know, taking care of family or children, protecting your assets, protecting everything you've worked for. So be very defensive uh, and don't let people mess with you. Uh, so make sure that you're keeping tabs on everything that is precious to you there with that protection card. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to be drawing some cards from the uh, Eight Coins uh, Tattoo Tarot. Let's see. So you've got the Queen of Swords over here. So you might be waiting for some kind of legal issue to be sorted out over here with that Queen of Swords. You could be going through a divorce, but there could be also other legal issues that you might be waiting for um, to get sorted out uh, with that Queen of Swords. And it might be to do with a new job. So you could actually be waiting to be signing new contracts uh, with a new job uh, here with that Queen of Swords. So maybe starting something brand new as far as your work life goes, money coming in, new money coming in. There's certainly something legal going on over there or something official going on over there and you're waiting for that outcome with that Queen of Swords. 
Now, uh, there is some kind of legal case that you're dealing with over here. Since you've got that Queen of Swords there, plus you've got the Justice card over there, it seems like some kind of decision is pending, some kind of uh, choice is being made over here. Uh, it's a legal decision that is pending, and you're waiting for the outcome of that. Um, you know, the scales are a bit imbalanced in this particular card, so maybe things are not going quite the way you want it to go as well, but you are waiting for that legal issue to be sorted out. Um, it looks like once it's sorted out, you're going to be making a move. Now, if this is not anything to do with the legalities, it might well be uh, that you might be waiting to sign new contracts. You might be even thinking about buying a new home and, you know, moving on, buying a new home, signing contracts for that uh, with the chariot card. So there's some kind of move. Once this decision is made, a move is um, coming up for you. It could be a home move. Or this could be even you buying a new home and signing new legal, signing the legal contracts for that new home. So maybe you've gotten a new job somewhere and um, you've decided that you want to purchase some kind of property and maybe you're waiting for that uh, um, deal to go through really. So in the past you've got the Three of Cups. So uh, things have been pretty relaxed. It looks like there was some kind of victory that you've had. Uh, you know, maybe even getting together with friends here with this Three of Cups, but it could also be a celebration uh, for success. Maybe something has come through for you and you're very, very happy about that. You said, it certainly looks like there's a, a home or maybe buying a new home or, um, uh, you know, um, because the, the Four of Rods is also about legal contracts and it's to do with a home. So it could be that you've just bought a new home, something that you've always wanted. Um, this could also be that, you know, maybe you've signed new, a new job contract and you're working with a lot of people, working with a group of people over here, and this is why you have been celebrating the success of that. And maybe you're now going to be signing new, bus you know, new uh, contracts as far as your work goes. You've got uh, the Two of Pentacles over here, so this is trying to get your financial situation uh, in balance again. Uh, you're focusing on, uh, maybe even focusing on your work, trying to get your work in balance again. You're certainly doing a lot of things. You're very busy. You're multitasking. Uh, but you're managing to keep everything, um, you know, um, balanced. You're, you're not uh, struggling with it. You're uh, very, very capable, and it seems like you're, you're getting things very sorted out. You know exactly uh, how to... Um, to get everything going the way it should be going. Uh, so uh, it doesn't seem like you're struggling over there, but you are um, you know, keeping their finances in order, you are keeping your work life in order, you're managing to prioritize pretty, pretty well there. Now going into the future, you've got that Queen of Cups there. So there's some kind of choice that you're facing here. Uh, it, it might have made you uh, feel a little bit uh, emotional. There might be an offer that comes in uh, there's definitely some kind of choice going on over here. Uh, try not to react emotionally about the whole situation. The Queen of Cups does tend to feel, get a bit, uh, you know, overwhelmed sometimes. So try to keep that, those emotions in check with that Queen of um, Cups. Now it looks like you're making a clean break from something. So this could well be that you are making a home move. Uh, it looks like whatever this case is or whatever legal situation a decision is made, it might not go completely in your favor, you might need to just cut your losses and move on, uh, go and start off somewhere new. But this is the ending of that old cycle of difficulties. It seems like whatever you were dealing with, if you were dealing with legal issues, there was a lot of problems, a lot of conflict. Um, you know, there was a, a feeling of being very disempowered. And it looks like that is now ended and you are now ready to move on. So maybe you're just rounding up all the legal issues over there before you make a decision and move on. So you've got the Hierophant over here, so this is, uh, you know, um, needing to get some kind of legal advice or, um, well, there's definitely a need for you to get some kind of professional advice uh, and um, that surrounds money, property, personal wealth here. The Hierophant is ruled by Taurus and this, uh, you know, um, rules your personal security. Uh, so you need to go and get some kind of advice, uh, professional advice, in order for you to sort things through. So what's in your, on your mind? You want things to change, you want the cycle to end, and maybe you're even planning or considering uh, doing some further study or further training over there with that uh, Wheel of Fortune. So going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the Tower over there, the Devil, and uh, you've got the Ten of Cups. So it looks like there's been some kind of uh, situation that has going, been going on, on on the family front. Now, with this... Um, 
chariot cart. This is about buying a new home, but it could also well be that you've got some family issues going on as well. Uh, and there's some legalities that are involved with this family issue that is going on. And maybe the, the courts have been brought into that particular situation. You will win in the end with that um, um, with that chariot card, this is usually a card of being, um, you know, winning it. But, you know, if, if it doesn't go in your favor, you there might be some aspects of it where you're uh, successful and some aspects where you're going to just have to cut your losses and move on with that seven of, um, with that ten of um, swords of there. So something really um, nasty has been going on. There's been a lot of lies and deceit, uh, a lot of problems, a lot of conflict that went on. And you can see that all in this uh, final outcome card. So. Uh, you might have been dealing with a Capricorn person over there on the family front, and that's, there's been a lot of drama, or there will be a lot of drama, so something, um, you know, a breakdown of structure there. So whatever you were used to, whatever you thought was your firm foundation seems to be, you know, coming apart. And it might, it, it's definitely to do with the family situation because you've got the Ten of Cups over here. So there's some kind of family issue that you're dealing with, somebody within that situation is very, very uh, manipulative, very, very controlling, um, and uh, they're, they're causing a lot of drama as well. Uh, there's a complete breakdown of structure there. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, heartbreak, upset. Uh, there's a lot of lies going on around, and maybe this is all turned, um, you know, been taken to court. So maybe you're waiting for all of that to come to a close, uh, and it looks like after that you'll start, you know, uh, moving on. Uh, from that situation. It's definitely left you upset and depressed as well. And maybe this is the reason why you may need to get some kind of professional counseling as well. So it's something to do with that home life. Um, it's something that you do need to go and get some kind of professional advice. It looks like that family situation has maybe uh, escalated into something really nasty. There's been uh, a lot of negativity going on over there, a lot of drama going on over there. But that is about to come to a close. So whatever this legal issue is that gets sorted out brings all of these problems to an end. But not before. There's a lot of, um, you know, upset. Uh, so just prepare yourself for that. Um, you'll have to cut ties with this particular person. Uh, it seems like they are very manipulative. They might be using a lot of lies and deceit to get their way. Uh, even if you're facing some kind of legal issue, it might it be that they're using a lot of lies and deceit to win uh, and to get um, control over a situation over there. You need to just stand firm and be determined uh, and move on in that kind of way rather than uh, standing back and giving them uh, any of your energy. So it looks like you are waiting for that legal decision to come through. Um, you know, there might be some kind of financial payoff that comes in with uh, you know, the ending of this, whatever this legal battle is that you're facing, uh, there might be some money that comes in with it. Uh, but uh, it looks like the cycle is now ending and you will be moving on after that. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Angel Tarot. And the first card is the Emperor, so organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. Now, you could be dealing with an Aries or a um, Scorpio energy over here, or the Emperor card over here. Uh, so maybe they're, they're the person that's giving you a bit of grief as well. Uh, but you also need to get your uh, ducks in a row. You need to be organized. And with the Emperor card, it's also a card that's ruled by Archangel Michael. So this is a legal decision that is going to be made soon. So you are waiting for that, uh, this case to be closed. You're waiting for this legal decision. And it looks like a decision will be made. You've got the seven of fire, you might need to defend yourself in whatever this legal issue is. So defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, and choose your battles wisely. So whatever is going on, there seems to be a lot of drama, and it seems to have ended up you know, in the courts, or there seems to be some kind of legal issue going on over here. So you do need to defend yourself in this particular situation. Stand up for yourself over there. And uh, don't let it get to you. You've got that queen of water over here. So. You could well be dealing with a water sign person. It could be a, um, uh, Scorpio, Cancer, or um, Pisces energy over here. But this could well be you. And uh, this is take um, trust your intuition and make sure you're caring for yourself. So try not to let anything upset you because you've got the Queen of Water here twice. So you are feeling depressed about whatever this outcome is. Like I said, there is that choice. You are in two minds about what to do. 
uh, and uh, you know you need to go and ask for some advice with that hierophant card. Now the hierophant is seeking uh, you know um, professional advice. It could be financial, but it could also well be getting some proper legal advice as well to be able to sort it out. And you know there seems to be a lot of legal issues that you're dealing with now, with that emperor card being uh, you know some kind of um, legal decision being made over there, and. Um, You've also got, uh, you know, that justice card over there talking about a legal decision. Like I said, the uh, scales are tipped, so it might not be, it might not go completely like how you want to. There might be a lot of problems first before you actually, uh, you know, are successful in whatever it is. And whatever doesn't work out for you, may, you may not need to just cut those losses and move on. Maybe there's just too much of drama, there's too much of lies, maybe this person is really nasty. Um, and whatever that situation seems to be really nasty uh, because they're causing that tower moment over there uh, you know and uh, this could be something that is really upsetting you it's really um, affecting your security and not only your your personal security but it seems to be messing with your mind as well so it's a, there's a lot of drama going on over here this person is not letting up they seem to want to, uh, control it seems like they may want to control money over there. So this could be a, this could be a situation about inheritance. Um, you know, maybe there's been a fight over inheritance within the family, and this is why it's all gone to court. That situation is ending. Uh, you know, there's that rainbow in the end. So there is eventual um, success on your part, but not after a lot of drama. So maybe a lot of things may come to light, uh, and before the situation gets sorted out. But hang in there and don't let, um, you know, you need to defend yourself and don't let uh, them get under your skin, really. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.